Hello everyone and welcome back to Sketch by Sketch and today we're going to be doing a sketchbook tour. I'm not the happiest with this sketchbook, I have to be honest. I don't like a lot of the drawings in it, but I wanted to show it to you guys anyways and I hope you can enjoy this. This is the first page I did, I have a video on that if you want to see more of it. Um, and then I just did this sketch, again nothing special, added a background with some Hoo Hoo brush markers. Um, I really like this drawing right here with the girl in the hat. I think it turned out kind of cute. And then over here, I am studying some older dresses and costumes. I really like that one on the right. Over here, just again, working on those dresses. I think the one on the left turned out really cute. And then here, some fan art from my favorite TV show. Let me know if you guys watch The Blacklist. Okay, again, um, you're going to see a lot of fancy dresses in this sketchbook. Um, I actually really like that sketch. Uh, the ones beside it, really not a big fan of, so let's move on. Here, not so much the drawing, but just like the overall look of it, I just think is really cute. And I think the colors in the background all goes together, and um, I really like it. Here, just doing some face studies. Not too happy with these, but it happened. And again, nice idea, but didn't execute it very great, so let's move on. Don't like this page either. Here, just practicing some dresses and faces. I think that one turned out pretty cute. And I wanted to try out some new markers, so I went ahead and added a little bit of the background to that sketch. And then I really like these two drawings from Star Wars, Padme, and Rey. Over here, I wanted to draw Luna from Harry Potter, but didn't really turn out how I wanted it to. All right, and now I'm doing some face studies. I actually really like the way this page turned out and how it all looks together. Um, I just think that all the faces look different and it all just flows together. Try to do the same idea on the next page with some Disney princesses. It didn't turn out as great, but I think it's still pretty cute. In every sketchbook, I pretty much have at least one drawing that didn't get finished, so that Wonder Woman colored pencil just didn't get finished, and then over here we have some Black Widow. This is kind of a Meghan Markle inspired character. It's not her, but I kind of saw a picture of her and it made me want to draw that. And then over here is a Hermione sketch. I like the graphite on these Zebra sketchbooks. Here are just some more characters from the blacklist. We have some more Tom and Elizabeth. Um, oh, biggest fan of those. And here we have a Black Widow. I think this one turned out pretty cool and the colors are just so bright. Um, again, just using Pinterest references, and I really like the idea of this page. Um, I just don't think I spent enough time on it. I think that was a problem with a lot of the sketches that I did in this sketchbook. I tried to rush them too much, and I had good ideas, but I just didn't execute them as well as I could have, I think, and that is why I had some problems with my sketches. Um, here just practicing warm-up sketches. I like that little tiny one in the corner and I like the big earrings I drew on this character and then I was watching Aladdin so I drew Jasmine. Here I had just finished watching Little Woman trying to draw some of the dresses and testing out some new markers with uh, drawing uh, Jasmine in the dress from the new movie. Um, I like the way that I did no line art and you can still see the pencils. Um, I think it's cute. Uh, more practice. A lot of these sketches aren't really anyone, they're just practicing. They don't really go with anything. Um, this page not my favorite. And this one really isn't either. I was drawing in the dark actually when I was drawing this, so I can give myself a break on that one. I'm just using some Pinterest references and trying to draw. Here I was getting ready for my Lion King audition, so I just thought I'd draw some lions and I added some backgrounds there. I think the backgrounds turned out pretty neat. This is a page that I really like for some reason. Um, it's just so plain and simple, but I think it turned out pretty good. Um, and I'm sorry for the shadow that is on the page. I just didn't have any other way to film this. And I kind of did the same thing over here, but I drew my friends. Um, a few of them have YouTube, so I'll try to link that down below. Um, I really like this one here on the right. Um, I like her hair and her dress and just the overall way that it turned out. 
and I also like these two. Um, they're not my favorite, but I think they're cute. And this was the night before I had my Lion King audition. I was watching the movie just to familiarize um, myself with the part and drawing a little bit, and I did this the next day. Here, just some more references and drawing, and then a little bit of Little Mermaid sketches. If you're really not a big fan of those, I was going a little too heavy handed with the pencil and I couldn't erase anything. And so that just wasn't a good sketching day for me. Here, these are really messy sketches, but I think they also turned out kind of cool and I like the way that they looked. I was thumbnailing for a uh, finished piece that I was doing, um, so I thought it turned out really neat. And then I went to try on prom dresses. So this one over here on the left, I actually tried on this dress and I didn't know what I wanted to do with my hair, so I was just kind of drawing that there. And then over here is just kind of maybe some kind of princess, something like that, I'm not sure. Over here I was drawing some, I think American Eagle um, models, and then over here I wanted to try out acrylic paint in the sketchbook. Um, I think this is really cool and I think this turned out really great. I wanted to draw Elizabeth from the blacklist, so I did a more realistic version and then over on the side I did um, my more cartoon version and I think that turned out super cute. Here, this page is kind of a mess. I was seeing people on Pinterest draw some retro drawings, so I thought I'd try it out myself. Um, this is a character I designed. I remember really liking it when I did it, and I like this one over here on the very far corner, but the other one's not my favorite. But I really like the design of the character, and I hope to kind of um, draw her a little bit more in my next sketchbook that I've already started. And here we go again. I think I have a video on this, I'm not sure. It didn't turn out the best, but I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, more faces. Um, I like this one over here on the side. I think her hair turned out really cute, and the background goes with it well. Here I did a Rapunzel drawing. I colored this in with some uh, brush markers, and then I wanted to try to sketch with a ballpoint pen, and I love this one over here on the side. It's just so cute, I think, and I like that page. Practicing a little bit more. Um, I ended up really loving this one over here on the side, even though it was so simple and I kind of drew it small. I never really draw the full body and I just think it turned out so cute. Not too happy over here, but then I did an ELO um, marker drawing and I think that turned out so cute. And I love that page. Here I was watching American Idol and Katy Perry had a lot of different hairstyles and stuff. So I wanted to draw a few of them while I was watching it. Here this character did not mean to turn out to look like Elsa. I did not want it to because I don't like Frozen really at all, but it kind of did so I just went with it and I think it's cute. Here I wanted to draw Millie Bobby Brown because I love her makeup and I think she's really fun to draw and so I just did that with some markers. And here is probably my favorite page, even though it looks not like much. I just really like the way that it turned out, and I think the drawing itself is really pretty. And I like this angle that I did over here on the side, and then that blue color with the graphite just looks so pretty on the paper. Okay, here I did some parts of the Caribbean drawings because I was watching that movie because I got bored. Um, I like how messy the sketches are and how they're not like so perfect. And then over here I drew... Um, Elizabeth and Will, um, and I just think that this page turned out really cute. Um, here, I love this one down here on the corner with that kind of like square face shape. I think it's really cute. And here, more faces, um, and that background is done with some Derwent ink and pencils. Over here, my costume came for my musical, and I was just kind of drawing it out um, how I wanted it to look. And then here I did some Elizabeth Keene um, sketches of just some different poses. I like this one up here in the top corner even though it doesn't look like her at all. And then I really like that one right there. Um, I think they actually all turned out pretty cute. Um, even though some of them are like really tiny. Those tend to be like my favorite ones anyways. And here for the last page I thought I would draw Tom Cruise because I was watching one of his movies. Don't remember which one but I love the way this page turned out. And the last page, maybe my favorite, 
super cute. It ties in with the front page that I did, same character there. And then if you see, the pattern is the same, but I like swapped the colors, so I think it's really cute. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this isn't probably as good as my last sketchbook video. I definitely don't think that it was, but I hope you guys were still able to enjoy it. Please stay safe. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye!